This daughter thought she showed good intentions when helping her father rebuild his garden. But everything went sideways when she cut down her dad's favorite tree in the process. Because her actions revealed that there was something hidden underneath the tree. And when she went to investigate, her face turned pale. Ava was struggling with the loss of her mother, but she realized her father was having an even rougher time trying to live without his partner. The young student decided to leave school for a while and return home to support her father, not knowing she would soon regret this decision. The day after she arrived, he already shared his big plans. I want to rebuild the garden, he said, as the garden had always been Ava's mother's pride and joy. He explained it was too confronting for him. Ava had some doubts about his plan and agreed hesitantly, as she wanted to support him. They would start that weekend, and when Ava entered the kitchen Saturday morning, she found a note explaining her father was running an errand to the garden center. After breakfast, Ava didn't want to sit around and eagerly started working in the garden, not knowing her good intentions would lead to an unexpected discovery. She looked out over the beautiful garden and sighed. She still couldn't believe her father wanted all of this gone. But if this was his mourning process, Ava didn't want to stand in his way. She got to work and started clearing out the plants and flowers. Eventually, only one thing remained, an old tree. Ava tried pushing it over, but quickly realized she didn't have the strength. There has to be something I can use, she muttered as she searched the garden. Then she suddenly exclaimed and grabbed an ax from beneath a pile of tools. Ava started chopping immediately, not realizing the mistake she made. Although it wasn't the biggest of trees, it still took Ava quite some effort. Her grunts echoed through the now empty garden until the tree finally fell. Some of the roots were revealed after the fall, and when Ava noticed it, she smiled. It would be easier to remove the tree now. Or so she thought. Her thoughts were interrupted by the sound of a slamming car door. Her father was back. Ava quickly cleaned herself up and went inside. I've already made some good progress she said enthusiastically, welcoming him back. But her father didn't share her enthusiasm and darted through the house. You started without me? He asked. His severe expression and worried tone took Ava aback, and she quickly followed him to the garden. She expected him to be thankful or excited to get to work, but he reacted very differently. The moment her father set foot inside the garden, he froze, and when he turned around, he was furious at her. What have you done? he asked with a quiver as he stood beside the tree. Ava didn't know how to respond and slowly approached her father, trying to calm him down. But with each step she took, his face became increasingly anxious, and without warning, he grabbed Ava by the arm and pulled her away. The sudden action startled Ava, and she didn't understand what was going on. Her mind was filled with questions. Why was her father behaving like this? Had she done something wrong? What are you doing? she asked frustratingly but the only answer she got was that he didn't want to work in the garden anymore. As he said that, he defiantly sat down. Ava stared, confused and hurt. Confronting him again, she asked what was happening, but he remained evasive. Eventually, Ava gave up, pacing the room with her mind racing. She assumed her father struggled with mourning. However, his behavior worsened. He spent the day in silence, only briefly leaving his chair to visit the garden. Later, as Ava prepared for bed, she heard him outside but the garden remained dark. Peeking out, she saw him by the fallen tree, shaking and looking around nervously. Confused, she watched until he returned inside, where she heard him sobbing. Concern turned to fear as Ava realized her worries centered on the tree. Determined to uncover the truth, she quietly ventured outside after her father slept, using her phone's flashlight to examine the marks left by him near the fallen roots. As she whispered her thoughts, the situation grew stranger until, the light beam moved over the ground before Ava, and suddenly, something caught her attention. It appeared out of nowhere and was instantly gone. She quickly realized something reflected the light as she moved it, and when she moved closer, she saw something small stick out. What was it? Was this her father's doing? Ava's heart pounded in her chest, and her breathing became faster as she put her phone down and wiped away the first layer of sand. Her eyes grew as a metallic box was revealed. Without hesitation, she started to clear the dirt around it. She had to know what this was. Within seconds, the box was free and Ava could take it out. Her mind was racing with questions. Did her father bury this? Was this the reason for his strange behavior? What was in it? The last question echoed through her head and urged Ava to open the box. To her surprise, there wasn't a lock. 
The box and its contents rattled, and the sound carried through the silent night. Ava's mind wasn't focused on being silent, but on finding what this box was about. Okay, here goes, she mumbled as she fiddled with the top of the box. After some struggle, it opened, and the inside dazzled her. The contents blinded her as the beam of her flashlight reflected in her eyes. She quickly grabbed it, and when she did, her eyes turned big and her skin became pale. For a moment, Ava couldn't do anything but stare at the box's contents. It was filled with jewels and valuable jewelry. It took time for Ava to process what she saw, sparking numerous questions. The jewelry was unfamiliar, buried under the tree. Had her father hidden them? Confusion deepened as she connected his odd behavior with the fallen tree and the discovery. Realization struck. Her father must have stolen the jewels. Overwhelmed by sadness and anger, she confronted him loudly upon returning home. As she sat at the table with the box, her initial anger faded, replaced by nervousness about her father's potential responses. She feared what she might learn about his past. When he entered, crying, Ava hesitated before confronting him about the jewels. What is this? Why is it buried in the garden? She asked, trying to sound determined. But her father continued sobbing for a while until he abruptly stopped. He sniffed one last time, looked up, and stared at Ava. Why did you dig that up? He said, ignoring Ava's questions. Tension filled the room. Before Ava could respond, her father followed up on his question. Put it back, he exclaimed, but his voice broke mid-sentence, and Ava noticed he was fighting his tears. Ava still didn't know what was happening, but her previous worries were gone. I want to know what is happening, she demanded. When her father set foot in the room, he froze and remained in place. Now he slowly shuffled to his chair and sat down. Ava watched him breathlessly. He looked utterly defeated. Come here, he said. Ava was hesitant, but she wanted answers. Carefully, she sat down opposite him, curious to hear him out. Her patience was tested as her father remained silent for a long time. Then he sniffed and took a deep breath. The moment the words left his mouth, Ava couldn't believe what she had heard. The jewelry inside that box belonged to your mother, her father said with a broken voice. The words hit her like a tidal wave. Tears started rolling down her face as Ava had difficulty processing them. Her father's answer only caused her to have more questions. But I have never seen them before, she thought out loud. And why did her father behave so weirdly about it? But before Ava could ask that question, her father had already started answering her first thought. He explained that the jewelry originally belonged to Ava's grandmother, and that Ava's mother always kept them behind lock and key. She only wore them on special occasions, so that's why you probably never saw them before, he said. Ava listened breathlessly to her father's explanation, but that wasn't all. The old man suddenly stood up from his chair and walked over to the box. Ava watched her father take out all the jewels and valuables and was surprised to see him open a compartment underneath. What was he doing? The room fell silent once more as her father concentrated on the box. After some fiddling, he managed to get the thing he wanted. Ava's breathing faltered for the second time that night as she saw her father take out an urn. Is that what I think it is? She asked breathlessly. Her father wiped away a tear and nodded. He was nearly broken down but fought his tears and started to explain. He came upon the jewelry when clearing out her side of the closet. It confronted him with her absence, so he planned to bury them with the urn beneath the tree to create a memorial. Ava couldn't believe what her father was saying. She was relieved her father wasn't some sort of criminal, but she was sad she ruined his beautiful plan. His weird behavior started to make sense as she realized this was his way of mourning, and she had ruined it for him. Her vision became blurry as tears welled up in her eyes. She quickly stood up and rushed toward her father. I'm so sorry, she said as she embraced him. Ava couldn't find the words to explain how she felt because she had ruined his plan. But then something suddenly crossed her mind. The garden may be empty, and she may have destroyed her dad's favorite tree, but that doesn't mean there can't be a memorial. She realized her father had given up on the memorial because the tree was gone, but Ava wouldn't let that happen. She was determined to help her father build a lovely memorial. We're going to build the perfect memorial, Ava said to her father as she looked him straight in the eyes. The next day, the duo cleared the whole garden and started planning the new one. Ava helped her dad decide how to remember his wife, and they started the project together. Eventually, the new garden took shape, and only one thing was missing the metallic box. 
Ava and her father had decided to place it beneath a bonsai tree. Together, they gently put it in the freshly dug hole and placed the tree on top, finishing the garden and closing this chapter in their life. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Woman restores cheap painting, bursts into tears when she takes out the canvas. Click here to get the full story.